I am still so gobsmacked that this is quiet season here because I couldn't think of anything more beautiful on the lead up to Christmas than to come and play in the snow and have onsens and go skiing. It sounds perfect. <laughs> Little shit. Bit of a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning beans! Today is our last day here in Minakami. We are on our way to Tokyo soon. We have woken up to our winter wonderland. Look at this guys. Oh what a perfect day. So firstly we're gonna go grab some breakfast. So it's a breakfast buffet and all the labels are in Japanese so it's a bit of a guessing game for us but it all looks delicious. I cannot get enough of this Japanese rice. It's honestly, I, I could just eat this for every meal. It's so delicious. It's unlike any rice I've had anywhere else. It's so light and fluffy and... She's oh, obsessed. I am obsessed. So we have decided to come for one last walk in the snow because yesterday there was so much snow that we couldn't get any nice shots with the blue and the white. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna get a little bit cold so we can have one last onsen before we leave. big trees. Oh, I don't want to leave. I just want to stay here for another few days. It's beautiful. This is the best. This has really got me in the Christmassy spirit as well. I'm feeling very festive right now. Now we are suitably cold. So what are we going to go do? We're going to go into the onsen. Yeah, one last onsen before we head off back to Tokyo. So I think this is my favourite vlogging spot where I've ever ever spoken to you guys uh, because I think you could probably guess that I am 100% naked. I am stood here in the mountains of Japan. And I've got a beautiful view but I've got some volcanic hot spring right here. I'm gonna get... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh. God this is amazing. The contrast in temperatures is so nice. Me and Emma have been pinching ourselves every day for the last kind of six months, but at least for the last couple of weeks. I want to say thank you to you guys that have been following us from the start of this little journey where we left with 500 pounds between the two of us because it is already in six months led us to places like this. Uh, this to us just feels like the beginning. I have no idea where this is going to lead us now, but if we are already doing this, uh, who knows what we're going to do in the future. So I'm going to go and enjoy this for the last time, then we've got to get ready and then we're going to make our way to the train station. See you in a bit. So the owner of the hotel is just now taking us to the train station, but he said just before we go, he had to take us to somewhere. And guys, look at that. mountain in the background is Mount Tanigawa Dake. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> and that is where all of the wonderful hot onsen water is coming from. 
absolutely stunning. This place should be riddled with tourists. If this was in Europe, you wouldn't be able to move. There'd be so many people. Now it's time to head back to the station. I am so gutted to leave this place. It is beautiful. Uh, but now we have to go. We have a date at the airport with a flight to Akanawa. YouTubers who we have known for a very long time but we've never actually met in person and it will be Rachel and Nick aka the drunken bear we're in Tokyo at the same place so we're gonna go meet them for some monjayaki monjayaki in Wasaki <laughs> welcome to take shitter streets <laughs> This is where we are meeting Rachel and Nick and it is a very quirky, busy street in the middle of Tokyo. So I'm not sure if these guys know a bit more than us. <laughs> Did you fail as well? Yeah, we failed. <laughs> <laughs> I got the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. some food where it's not as loud as here. Just before we go to the airport on the bus, we've just come to this uh, traditional food place here. Don't judge me guys, it's a travel day, I'm hungry and I've got no money, it's cheap. He uses and that as an excuse, yet somehow I managed to get a hold of a nice salad. <laughs> that doesn't look that nice. It is, it's another little salad, it's sesame dressing and I've got an onigiri as well. <laughs> Ow. That's coloured lip balm. Your lips are going to be bright red. I got chap lips. <laughs> what am I going to do? It's cold outside. I'm tired. I didn't sleep very well last night. <laughs> I have you know. We're running very, very low on money. We're about to go to walk an hour. Yeah, walk an hour. That'll be amazing. It won't because we haven't got any money to do anything. <laughs> We are going to get a bus now because that is the cheapest way. And then we are going to sleep at the airport. So that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, so I'm a bit confused. The sign says that the bus goes to the airport. And the woman has just told us that it only goes to the hotels near the airport. And she's very confused that we didn't even think that it was going to the airport. No, it's not quite there, Too tired for the ship. If that doesn't mean airport, then I don't know <laughs> what does. <laughs> that makes There's no sense. There's a picture of a plane with the initials of the airport on it. <laughs> I'm so confused. This is the real highs and lows of travel because how amazing this morning was. The highs of walking in the mountains, being in the onsen seems like a world away now. I think we're now taking the train. <laughs> Yay! We made it. We're at the airport. I'm sleepy. Uh, we're very sleepy. It's like about midnight now. Uh, we're flying at 7 a.m. So we need to go and find a, a very nice comfortable little nook. A little nook. Uh, but this has been quite the falafel to get here. 
<laughs> I'm gonna Shout coin. To you, Tom. Yeah, I'm gonna coin that phrase, I think, instead of kerfuffle. So it's been a massive falafel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go find somewhere to rest our little noggins. Look where we found. We have to be quiet. This is actually really good. Like, this is saving us 50 or 60 dollars. see the problem guys that is the problem <laughs> maybe she wants to sleep here but I want to sleep here Good morning guys, so we are going to go try and check in and like always we have not paid for hand luggage and we're a little bit worried that they're going to try and charge us so this time we're trying a new technique because if you saw one of our last videos uh, we stuffed it all down our trousers and that worked perfectly this time we're going to try just leaving a load of our stuff here we're going to go and check in, they'll weigh our bags I'm a little bit nervous about this one because you shouldn't really leave things unattended in the airport, it's a bit of a risk. But because people are sleeping around it looks like it's just something to sleep on. Um, we're feeling pretty confident, so let's go. Good morning Emma. Good morning. How was your sleep? It was quite nice actually. Yeah, it was probably the comfiest sleep I've had at the airport. And I had uh, Al's noise cancelling headphones on to drown out any noise, which was lovely. Yeah, not so much for me, but uh, yeah, it was still fine. That is how you do it. Both our bags under seven kilos. I think this is a perfect time to say, we are going guys, we're flying to Okinawa, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, please. Please. Give it a like. Like, give it a subscribe. <laughs> Bribe and <laughs> and a comment. Any reason for the comment? Just because we like to hear from you. Just we like comments, so we generically say leave a comment. Beans out. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, do it. It's too funny. Go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay.